Satyanarayan Gangaram Patroda Hindi, Saint, Jaina Ra J Ga Ra M Piroa popularly known as Sam Patroda born the 4th of May 1942 is a telecom engineer, inventor, entrepreneur and policymaker. He was born in Titilagar, Odisha, India to a Gujarati family. Topic: <laughs> Early life Satyanarayan G. Patroda was born in Titlagar, Odisha, India to Gujarati parents. His family belongs to the OBC Carpenter community. He had seven siblings and is third oldest among them. The family was deeply influenced by Mahatma Gandhi and his philosophy. Consequently, Patroda and his brother were sent to Gujarat to imbibe Gandhian philosophy. He completed his schooling from Vallabh Vidyanagar in Gujarat and completed his master's degree in physics and electronics from Maharaja Sayajirao University in Vadodara. After completing his master's in physics he went to the United States and obtained a master's in electrical engineering from the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. Career <laughs> 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 Early career Throughout the late 1960s and early 1970s Petroda was involved in technology research work in telecommunications and handheld computing. In 1966 he went to work for GTE in Chicago. He is regarded as one of the earliest pioneers of handheld computing because of his invention of the electronic diary in 1975. In 1974, Petroda joined Westcom Switching which was one of the first digital switching companies. He developed the 580 DSS switch, over nearly four years. It was released in 1978. Westcom was acquired by Rockwell International in 1980, where Petroda became vice president. During his four decades as an engineer, Petroda filed scores of patents in telecommunications. The latest set of patents relate to mobile phone-based transaction technology, both financial and non-financial, via mobile phones. In 1964, he traveled to Chicago to study electrical engineering. He spent nearly a decade with Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi as leader of an effort to build an Indian information industry. The task was to extend digital telecommunications to every corner of the country, including remote villages, like the one of his birth. Petroda launched the Center for the Development of Telematics and served as advisor to the Prime Minister on technology missions related to water, literacy, immunization, oil seeds, telecom, and dairy. He is also the founding chairman of India's Telecom Commission. Petroda returned to India a second time in 2004 to focus on building knowledge institutions and infrastructure. Petroda served as chairman of the National Knowledge Commission 2005 to 2009, a high-level advisory body to the Prime Minister of India, to give policy recommendations for improving knowledge-related institutions and infrastructure in the country. During its term, the National Knowledge Commission submitted around 300 recommendations on 27 focus areas. Petroda also founded the National Innovation Council 2010, and served as the advisor to the Prime Minister with rank of a Cabinet Minister on Public Information Infrastructure and Innovation, to help democratize information. Petroda founded and served as chairman of CSAM. The company maintains its headquarters in Chicago with offices in Singapore, Tokyo, Pune, Mumbai and Vadodara. Petroda holds around 100 technology patents, has been involved in several startups and lectures extensively. Petroda has also started several businesses as a serial entrepreneur Westcom Switching, Ionix, MTI, Market, Worldtel, CSAM, etc. in the US and Europe. He has also served as an advisor to the United Nations and in 1992, his biography Sam Petroda, a biography was published and became a bestseller on the Economic Times list for five weeks. The claim that Petroda played a major role in ushering in the telecom revolution in India has been disputed in an article by Rajiv Mantri and Harsh Gupta published by Livement. He has lived in Chicago, Illinois since 1964 with his wife and two children and also in Delhi. Topic return to India On a 1981 trip back to India, he was frustrated by how hard it was to call his family back in Chicago, and decided he could help modernize India's telecommunications system. 
In 1984, Patroda was invited to return to India by the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. On his return, he started the Centre for Development of Telematics C. Dot, an autonomous telecom R&D organization. He had previously become a naturalized U.S. citizen, but renounced his U.S. citizenship to take Indian citizenship again in order to work in the Indian government. In 1987, he became advisor to Indira Gandhi's successor, Rajiv Gandhi and was responsible for shaping India's foreign and domestic telecommunications policies. In 1987 during his tenure as advisor to Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, Patroda headed six technology missions related to telecommunications, water, literacy, immunization, dairy and oil seeds. He founded and was first chairman, of India's Telecom Commission. Patroda contributed to India's foreign and domestic telecommunications policies. He is considered one among many to be responsible for the telecommunication revolution in India and specifically, the ubiquitous, yellow-signed public call offices PCO that quickly brought cheap and easy domestic and international public telephones all over the country. In the 1990s Patroda returned to Chicago to resume his business interests. In May 1995, he became the first chairman of World Tel Initiative of the International Telecommunication Union. When the United Progressive Alliance government came to power following the 2004 general elections, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh invited him to head the National Knowledge Commission of India. In July 2009, the government of India invited Petroda to head an expert committee on ICT and railways. In October 2009, Patroda was appointed as advisor to PM of India Manmohan Singh on Public Information Infrastructure and Innovations with the rank of Cabinet Minister. In August 2010, Patroda was appointed Chairman of the National Innovation Council. In 2013, Patroda is appointed as the Chancellor of the Central University of Rajasthan by the President of India. In 2017 Mr. Sam Patroda is appointed as Chairman of Indian Overseas Congress by President of Indian National Congress, India. In 2017 Mr. Sam Patroda is appointed as Chairman of Alpha N Corporation HTTPS colon slash slash alpha-ncorp.com, a pure lithium metal clean technology. Awards Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award for Excellence in Public Administration and Management Services, 2000, in recognition of his outstanding contribution to telecommunication and harnessing it for social and economic transformation of developing countries. DataQuest gave Petroda a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2002. In 2008, Petroda was elected as a world prominent leader by the World Network of Young Leaders and Entrepreneurs. International Telecommunication Union ITU conferred the World Telecommunication and Information Society Award to Petroda in Geneva on 17 May 2011. He was awarded in recognition of his dedication to promoting information, communication and technology as a means of providing a better life for humanity and social and economic empowerment. He was the first Indian to receive this award. In May 2010, the University of Illinois at Chicago College of Medicine presented him an honorary degree. Sambalpur University honored Petroda with DSC, on its 23rd convocation on 14 July 2010. The Government of India awarded him the Padma Bhushan in 2009 for his contribution to science and engineering. The Scotch Challenger Lifetime Achievement Award in 2009 for ushering in the telecom and IT revolution in India. Andhra University honored Petroda with DSC in 2008. Award for Public Service in the Field of Telecommunications, IEEE Communications Society, 2007, for exceptional contributions in developing indigenous systems and telecommunications infrastructure in India. He was felicitated on 31 March 2009 by Akila Bharatiya Viswakarma Mahasabha ABVM for service to the Viswakarma community, in the presence of Chief Minister of Delhi, SMT. Sheila Dixit. World Telecommunication and Information Society Award, International Telecommunication Union ITU, 2011, for his outstanding contribution to improving life in rural communities through information and communication technologies. Sam Petroda is the first Indian to receive this prestigious award. He addressed the second Indian Student Parliament in 2012. 
He addressed the gathering of students and faculties of Sashadrapuram First Grade College, Yilahanka, Bangalore and various other students and faculties from other institutions across Bangalore about the topic of innovation and advancement in modern education on 14 October 2017. Non-profit organizations NGOs. Sam Petroda currently chairs five major NGOs. <laughs> Institute of Transdisciplinary Health Sciences and Technology The first is the Foundation for Revitalization of Local Health Traditions founded in 1990 with Darshan Shankar. It has now turned into Institute of Transdisciplinary Health Sciences and Technology near Bangalore in India. The foundation promotes Ayurveda, India's traditional medicinal knowledge. Today, FRLHT has over 200 scientists and professionals on 19 acres campus and has documented over 7,000 herbal medicinal plants. It also has over 100 herbal medicine gardens, approximately 500 acres each. Sam Petroda is chairman, board of trustees at the institute. The Global Knowledge Initiative GKI. In 2009, Sam Petroda founded the Global Knowledge Initiative GKI along with Nina Fedorov and Sarah Farley in Washington, D.C. as a non-profit organization with a mission to forge, optimize, and sustain knowledge partnerships between the people and institutions of higher education and research around the world. They build and support purpose-driven networks to solve shared challenges in science, technology, and innovation. They have worked in countries including Rwanda, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, Pakistan, Afghanistan, India, Middle East, North Africa and more. India Food Banking Network In 2010, Petroda established the India Food Banking Network IFBN to create a network of food banks in India to systematically capture and distribute food to empower and support the food security mission in India. Today, IFBN has food banks in Delhi, Gurgaon, and Noida with plans to expand into Mumbai, Bangalore, Calcutta, and others. Sam Petroda is chairman of the advisory board of the India Food Banking Network. People for Global Transformation People for Global Transformation was launched in 2012 along with Mr. Hubert Vedran, France's former Chief of Staff for President Mitterrand. PGT is a global think tank that brings together an interdisciplinary group of 15 leading voices from across the globe to help shape the 21st century's discourse on development and governance, and provide innovative policy recommendations. The group particularly endeavors to generate greater transversal thinking on the transformational potential of technology and its consequences for all. Topic: <laughs> Action for India. Also in 2012, Petroda founded Action for India to help social innovators in India overcome barriers to scale and achieve greater impact at the bottom of the economic pyramid. AFI connects social innovators with impact investors, mentors, technology resources, government contacts and local partners. AFI is headquartered in New Delhi, India and has a chapter in Silicon Valley, California. Others In addition to these six NGOs, Sam Petroda is also Founding Commissioner of the UN Broadband Commission Chairman of the Empowering Development Initiative of the ITU in Geneva Chairman of the Vikram A. Sarabhai Community Science Center Board Member of the World Wide Web Foundation Board Member of the Institute of Design, IIT, Chicago Founding Partner of the Young Indian Company, India now the majority owner of National Herald Books 
Topic books by Petroda I Triple E Transactions on Communications, Special Publication on Telecommunication in Developing Countries, Volume Com 24, Number 7, July 1976, Part 2 Here, Exploding Freedom, Roots in Technology, Allied Publishers Limited, 1993 Foundation for the Future, Human Resource Development, Commonwealth Secretariat, 1993 Development of Gujarat, People's Perceptions, Sardar Patel Institute of Economic and Social Research, Ahmedabad. 1997 Vision, Values, and Velocity, Silicon India, 2001 March of Mobile Money, The Future of Lifestyle Management, Harper Collins, 2010 Dreaming Big, My Journey to Connect India, Penguin India, 2015 Petroda also holds a collection of over 40 years of his personal daily diaries and workbooks. Books about Petroda Sam Petroda, A Biography, by Myank Chaya, Konark Publishers Private Limited, 1992, Part 2 This biography of Sam Petroda by Myank Chaya was on the best-seller list in India. Other contributions In 1993, Petroda helped to establish with Darshan Shankar the Foundation for Revitalization of Local Health Tradition and its Institute of Transdisciplinary Health Sciences and Technology near Bangalore in India. The foundation promotes Ayurveda, India's traditional medicinal knowledge. The two founders were honored in 2003 by Columbia University. Petroda also serves on the IIT International Board of Overseers. <laughs>